So in the early stages of me developing my process, I started working on paper tablecloth. It was a cheap medium. I could get very large very quickly. And I used to warm up on this paper, and then I s had rice papers I would work on afterwards. But what I found sometimes is because the paper could uh, allow me to work so large, and because I seemed to be more free about it because it didn't cost me very much money, some of my best work actually came out on this paper tablecloth. So this is actually a couple of pieces stitched together. I started with the line work. I mixed a lot of green in with the ink, and then I did paint it kind of in these red colors. And then after I attached it to canvas, I went in and added more pinky and more orangey. I kind of added a lot more of a variety to the red, but I wanted to stay with just the green and the red because I found that just so powerful, the color combination, and it's also very Chinese. This was done, I believe it's late 80s. And I did it in San Francisco where I, I did have a fairly large studio and I painted on the floor. I had boards that I had put down, little quarter inch boards that I screwed into the floor, put some spackling in between the boards so that you wouldn't see the, the crease of the boards. As I tacked the canvas onto the board, stretched it down, gessoed it, and then glued on the paper. And then I end up having to spend a lot of time figuring out what color would be a nice border around it because I, I kind of don't want to cut it down to where the paper ends because again, I'm wanting to celebrate the edges of the paper. The way I actually present this finally if I'm to show in a gallery or a museum or sell the piece is I would then stretch this on stretcher bars and then I'll put just a very thin, I think it's quarter inch slat of wood around the edge that acts as the frame. If this was to be finished, I would lose a little bit of the edge as it goes around the stretcher bar. Mostly, I roll these up on uh, t uh, carpet tubes to store them. I haven't framed it because it's easier for me to just tack it up and roll it up when I need it and take it places. And you can see that this paper tablecloth in particular gets very textured. There's an actual tooth or texture to the paper that that you you end up seeing in the end and it adds to the overall overall very textured feel to the piece. And of course you have the folds of when I attach the um, paper and I and I push it in it 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 leaves these little folds in it that that make it also very textured. And, and I actually like that. I think that's a, a large part of the piece.